Today, as we again think about our priorities and putting things in order, I want to encourage you to turn to Paul's letter to the Romans, Romans chapter 13, and to read verses 1 through 8. This is where Paul talks about a Christian's relationship to the state. And what's interesting is that Paul, who has all the benefits of being a Roman citizen, even though he's also Jewish, he states very clearly that every person has to be subject to the governing authorities, for there's no authority except from God. And he takes this position that whoever's in charge, whoever's in authority, they're there for a reason. And the state has the right even to punish its citizens if need be. And a Christian has to respect that. And it's interesting that Paul is saying this uh, about the Roman state under the emperor Nero, uh, who will go on to prove to be not the greatest leader um, for Christians. And our verse of the day is verse 7, where Paul writes, Pay to all what is due them, taxes to whom taxes are due, revenue to whom revenue is due, respect to whom respect is due, honor to whom honor is due. So like Jesus, Paul is affirming that, hey, as Christians, as Jews, it's appropriate to pay our taxes. It's part of supporting our government. If you want to have roads and clean water and uh, national defense and a lot of other things, we pay our taxes to help provide those things to the greater good. But also note that it's not just what Paul says about finances. It's not just about paying taxes and revenue. It's also respect and honor. And, you know, this is something that I think sometimes in our political system uh, we can find challenging is, A, when we don't see people showing respect and honor to other people, whether they're of a different party or they hold different beliefs uh, or... We don't respect and honor people in authority just because we don't respect them. Um, that's hard, and that's a dynamic that we see going on in our country right now. But again, Paul, like Jesus, is saying, you know, the state, the government, uh, political structure, uh, that's below God. And God is first in our allegiance, in our life. And it's our relationship with God that shapes how we act as citizens. And that's why I took this reading through verse 8, where Paul says, Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. So even in the times in which we're living, which are very fraught with peril uh, for our nation and in the wider world, what are we supremely to do? What are we to be known for? Owe no one anything, Paul says, except to love one another, even those with whom we disagree. Because we are, in many cases, fellow Christians, fellow believers. We are fellow citizens. We're fellow human beings of the world.